Eagles cornerback Keely Ringo finally saw significant snaps on Monday night against the Seahawks. Ringo was a guy that I was really high on in the draft. He was the number 24 player on my big board with a late first round grade. He fell all the way to the fourth round. He entered this game with only 22 defensive snaps played on the season, but he played 32 snaps in this game, rotating with Eli Ricks after Darius Slay underwent surgery that will keep him out for a few weeks. I thought watching the game, he played well. PFF agreed. He was the highest graded coverage player for the Eagles during the game with a 79.7 coverage grade. They said he was targeted two times, allowed zero receptions, had a pass breakup, and he also had a run stop. But there's more to it than the PFF grade, so let's go to the film and let's take a look at some of Keely Ringo's reps on Monday Night Football. Now, this isn't every snap from Keely Ringo, but we'll go through several of them here, and I'll run through the plays, and then we'll zoom in on him on a lot of those plays. So this is Ringo up at the top of the screen, uh, and we'll just roll the tape here. You're going to see this is a press interaction. He stays right with the receiver. Shout out to Hassan Reddick for running that running with that wheel route here but we'll zoom in on it here again and you can watch i think he does a good job here mirroring off the line of scrimmage he's outside leverage because he's got inside help and he stays with the route when we get there that's that's pretty good right that's exactly what you want to see he knows where his help is he funneled the guy to it we got ringo at the top of the screen here you can see he runs with him now you could argue that he's got a step on him that's not really that's a hard throwing window, but what I like about this is he does a really good job in press coverage, staying patient. Notice he doesn't lunge at the receiver off the line. He lets the receiver come to him. like He's trying to get that press, but it's really important here that we don't lunge, and he doesn't. He stays with him, gets hands on, and then runs in that back pocket, and I think that's exactly what you want to see again from a corner. This time Ringo is going to be down at the bottom of the screen. Again, really patient in the press. Now, this is a draw play. It's worth mentioning the receiver's not really trying to get open. He's just trying to draw Ringo out of the play. But again, you see that patience he has in his press, waiting and letting the receiver come to him, and then boom, hands on, and then off, right? And we're trying to, we're just trying to mirror this route downfield. Um, so I like seeing that from Ringo. This is going to be a rep from him in run defense. He's aligned in off coverage here. And I think he does a good job getting downhill in the run game here. Uh, so we'll watch this one play out. The back pedal is going to avoid that blocker. Gets downhill, makes the hit. Sidney Brown, I love Sidney Brown, finishes this one off. We can see from the back view here, you'd like to see him wrap up a little bit better, right? Uh, when we watch this pitch come out to the edge, he doesn't really wrap up, right? He just goes low and hits the legs. So you'd like to see that maybe be a little better, but I do like that he's not afraid to come stick his nose in the fan and run defense. And at the end of the day, the net result's the same. The defense should be pursuing behind. It slows it down so much. Even if Brown's not there, I'm pretty sure Walker goes out of bounds. So uh, I like that rep from Ringo. Now he's at the bottom of the screen. We can watch this one. Again, I just think that's pretty good coverage, right? We'll zoom in on it here. Notice, again, he's patient. He's The receiver tries to release outside, and Ringo jumps outside. And then he s stays right in phase here on that, on that hip. I think that's also a good rep in coverage. And now this is one of my favorites. We're going to see Ringo at the bottom of the screen. This is going to be like an in-breaking route, and watch him break down on this. Um, and you can also just kind of compare his reactions to James Bradbury at the top. Notice they're both playing off. Watch how Ringo... Boom, triggers down on this route while Bradbury is slower to do so. Now, Bradbury's route's breaking outside, but look, this route's breaking right now. Watch Bradbury's reaction. See that shuffle before he gets into it, right? Another shuffle there, and now we're trying to close, and the window's there to throw. But if you watch Ringo, boom, he just triggers downhill fast and follows this route. Now, you could throw that, right? But it's a drag, and I think he does a good job. We'll see it zoomed in again here. If we stay just no wasted movement, triggers down on 16 there, another good rep. Now let's talk about another one here. This is his pass breakup. He's at the bottom. We're getting motion coming across. This is going to be an out route, uh, and he's going to make a pass breakup. This was, I believe, a second and five, and I think he does a really good job here from off coverage, diving down, attacks the arm, ball comes out. Yeah, second and like six. But my favorite thing here is watch 
you know, you can't see the receiver as we zoom in here, but what I love, nose over the toes, right? Nose over toes. We're leaning forward. We're ready to break on this ball. And see right here, this big exaggerated step. This is your plant, and you're going to break out. So watch how quickly he's reacting to this as he sees this big step. Boom, we're driving downhill. No wasted movement. Attack the ball. Gets it out. Uh, let's watch that one one more time without me pausing it. Just watch how quickly he reacts once this throttle down happens from the receiver. So here it is. Boom, we're downhill. It's pretty good coverage. Love seeing that. Now he's going to be at the bottom of the screen. Let's watch this one play out. Running deep, step for step with the receiver. I mean, that's good stuff. You can trust him over the top here. Patient, gets hands on, gets hands off, funnels him to the sideline. Like That squeeze to the sideline is so important because it makes this throw this much harder. Uh, if we watch it on the zoomed out view, see how he funnels him to the sideline? This is, this is two man, right? He doesn't have help over the middle. Now there does happen to be a linebacker here because somebody stayed in the block, but he's not expecting. He's expecting this linebacker to be somewhere else. So pretend he's not there. So you're funneling this to the sideline, right? If you don't push him to the sideline and you let him work over the middle, there's more of a throwing window. You push it to the sideline. It's just a really tough throw to make. So like seeing that uh, again from him, I thought he had good reps from off coverage, driving down, good reps in run defense, good reps in press, bailing deep. Uh, here he is again at the bottom of the screen. You can watch this one. This is probably his roughest rep, in my opinion. And Drew Locke puts the ball over. But you can see, like, I think he gets beat here, but he's got the closing speed. The, the receiver's going to fake this little outside release and go, and I think he overplays it a little bit. He overreacts. See that little shuffle? He's off balance now. Now, I mean, if you're running a slant, that would be wide open. But we're trying to get vertical here. But watch his closing speed, right? He's able to get instantly throttled back up. A little grab there. You could maybe see that called if the ball's out sooner. But he gets back on the receiver. Like, he gets beat here. In my opinion, I would call this a, a bad rep, but the closing speed and the ability to get on his horse and go connect to the receiver here. Now, Drew Locke, if he if he plays this a little better, if this is you know maybe a better quarterback, you you see the safety coming down here. He should be throwing this ball over here because you can see the receiver starts to come in and then has to wind back around. See if he continues to throw this here instead of here. There's a bigger window there. So ultimately, you know, bad throw by the quarterback. You see the receiver throw his hands up. But Ringo has the closing speed to at least make this a more difficult throw than it would have been for, say, James Bradbury, uh, who doesn't have that closing speed. So uh, one more rep. We've got him up here at the top of the screen. Uh, you can watch him here. And this is a sack. And again, I think this is good. He's patient. Notice he doesn't lunge. That's the thing you see from corners that want to be aggressive. They tend to lunge. He's not lunging here. Nose over toes, right? He's ready. He's going to get hands on right here. He doesn't overreact on that outside move like we saw him do on the last play. Doesn't overreact. Gets hands on. We're in a legal area for contact here. Rides him a little far maybe, but he gets the hands off. He doesn't hold on when we go into this break, and he's right there with him. Like That's a tough throw, and so... I thought that was also a pretty good rep from Ringo. And there you have it. That's not every snap that Keeley Ringo played. Obviously, he played 32, but that was most of the ones where I saw him involved in pressing someone or in run defense or anything like that. And so I thought overall he looked pretty good. It was a very encouraging performance. I am definitely looking forward to watching him over the next few weeks, whether that be rotating with Eli Ricks or taking that starting role uh, while the Eagles weather this Darius Slay injury.